If you have your Bibles, go with me to Matthew chapter 5. And I'll be starting at verse 43. And I keep asking God, why do you keep giving me the hard messages? Uh, and he keeps telling me, you went through it. You went through it. You can't preach what you don't know. That's right. At this age, I kind of feel like I'm pretty smart sometimes. <laughs> Start with verse 43. Ye have heard that it hath been said, Thou shalt love thy neighbor and hate thine enemy. But I say unto you, Love your enemies, bless them that curse you, do good to them that hate you, and pray for them which despite, despitefully use you and persecute you, that ye may be the children of your Father which is in heaven, for he maketh the sun to rise on the evil and on the good, and sendeth rain on the just and the unjust. For if we love them which love you, what reward, what reward have you? Do not even the publicans the same? And if ye salute your brethren only, what do ye more than others? Do not even the publicans so? Be ye therefore perfect, even as your Father which is in heaven is perfect. Guilty. Guilty. I used to treat the people of the church totally different than I treat the go out there and treat the world. You can ask my wife, the one one thing God told her to tell me. I'm I'm a very uh, defensive, aggressive driver. Sometimes I become more aggressive than defensive. Because up until God told Wendy to tell me what she told me that day. My, my thinking was, how can you be so stupid? People that don't understand what a yield sign means aggravated the tar out of me. Getting cut off in traffic. We were coming up to uh, 39 and Morgan Street one evening. And of course, everybody comes flying out of there. And of course, they get out there and they turn on a turn signal and turn into BP. I started raving and raving. And the simple words came out of Wendy's mouth, Lord forgive them for the moment. I became really humble. Because God told me they didn't know what they were doing when they sacrificed me either. And I'm here to tell you, it's hard to treat everybody with love. Yes, yes. I'm sure Raymond can vouch for that too. <coughs> and most of you know my testimony. I hated everybody, including my own kids. And then I had to start walking in love. Walking in love is hard. Jesus says, take up my yoke for it's easy. But I'm going to tell you, this is the hardest thing I have ever done. Because once you get to Brother Pat's stage or Wendy's stage or my stage, you can't treat anybody differently than anybody else. You have to pray for those that despitefully use you. In a sense, you could call it peer pressure. And like I said, I'm guilty. <laughs> thorn in my flesh. <laughs> and over the past, we have been here, back eight years, I've had thorns in my side and they come and go. And God's teaching me to pray for those thorns. Because when I first started praying, it was always, Lord, just make them go away. Lord, just make them go away. Did it work? No. Quite a bit. 